This is a 50 minute match timer. And Tyler is going to put some power behind it. Yeah, he's got a very powerful break as Tyler, and he controls the cue ball really well. Type of uh, Shane Van Bonen esque, really. What a break that is. Yeah, and you take a look here. Big, powerful break, ball in the side pocket. Really couldn't have asked for a better break. He does have a small issue here with that two and that ten, but I think he's going to clear a pocket here. The four ball is a little rough, but. Yeah, he's going to pop the three and the four in the top left hand corner, then play the six. Just bring the cue ball out, then play the. Is it the purple? Is it the pink five? Is it these days? So that's actually the five ball. Yeah, he's the gonna, orange five ball. Yeah, he's going to play the three, the five, the six, the four, then the two in the top. Stun the cue ball dead for the eight in the corner where he's putting the green six ball. This is uh, making a nice little circle around the table, nice and simple. Keep it smooth. Yeah, this is a, a clear cut chance for Tyler. And in one of the most shocking parts of the Louisiana shootout last night, we saw Tyler Steyer in a situation like this cookie cutter layout, simple, simple shots, and then all of a sudden, in off, and it cost him the match. Roberto running around the table at light speed. Yeah, and the crazy thing about that was if he, if he took his full 15 seconds, he actually would have won the match because Roberto would have run out of time and played a nice little shot there. Still has to be a little bit careful. Needs to pop this this four ball thick, really, into the pocket to hold the cue ball. Well, he's played it perfect. Absolutely perfect on the two. You can't really ask for a better setup than that. Just going to take a look at the eight ball here. And Tyler Steyer making quick work of this first track. Just needs to make this ball and set up on the eight ball. Nicely played there. Good stun shot. Get the cue ball away from the ten ball. Perfect position on this A8. Yeah, absolutely. Great rack here for Tyler Steyer from the big break to the very, very clean run out there. I remember seeing him when he was much, much younger. And he's really progressed well. Oh, see Jacob there use a cut break. Made the six ball straight into the top corner and the stripe just dropped there into the corner. So nicely situated here. He's got a chance to punch back at Tyler here. Yeah, he wants to pop the uh, orange stripe into the top left hand corner first shot. That's his most difficult ball on the table. That's perfectly played. Has absolutely nothing to do here. He could actually choose to cannon into the three if need be. I wouldn't advise it because he doesn't really need to do it, but he has got the option. And Jacob taking his time, making sure he makes the right decision here. This is not the first time that we've seen him in this TV arena playing in the shootout last night. And uh, unfortunately for him, the conditions brand new to Ultimate Pool. He told me afterwards the match clock and the shot clock are something that he just wasn't familiar with and it cost him a little. But he looks a lot more comfortable here. Yeah, he just played a little slack shot when he potted the one in the middle two shots ago. He really wanted to be where he is now, and he would, would have made the clearance much more easier. Can he run through and play the nine past the eight ball? Well, he's okay. That'll do him. He can pop the ten and screw back and play the nine in the centre pocket. Or the side pocket, as you like to call it in the side USA. Side pocket and draw back. <laughs> screw back, draw back. <laughs> yeah, some uh, new terms to those watching in the UK and some new terms for those in the uh, United States yes it's funny it's funny how pool is universal anywhere but it's totally different lingo when you go across the ocean yeah some of the terms we uh, we can't really mention on there yeah that's very true nicely yeah. played there by Jacob good clearance this will settle his nerves and he looks very impressive to be fair
very good shot there by Jacob. One to one. But he hits the ball really well. Took some speed off of that break. Yeah, they've not come out too great, these. A little bit awkward. You know, I'll tell you, Jacob playing in the shootout when he drew Darren Appleton, his his real key there, he told me, he said, he said I just I want to beat Darren because I want to play Chris. So um, he's one of those guys that really wants to play the best and everything. So huge, huge compliment to you. Yeah, and that's a great attitude to have. And I'm not just saying that because it was me, but, you know, any of the top the top players really, you know, when I was younger, I, want, I always wanted to play the best players. And uh, that's a sign of a champion, really. You, you want to get in there with the best and you want to beat the best. That gives you a lot of confidence when you do that. Yeah, definitely his mindset. And that was always Tyler's mindset as well. Obviously, two young guys here. And both of them with a champion's mentality. That's always good to have. Yeah, I've always liked Tyler's Tyler's game. Like I said before, his technique is really, really good. Very smooth. You know, a nice little pause at the back. Mm, a little bit short there. He's got to be careful because I don't believe the one ball passes the 15. Does it go past the 8 into the corner once he removes the, the 4? This is uh, this is dodgy. He's got to be careful here. He may, yeah. He, he may end up putting the that, three, can't pot the four, and come off the back rail and nudge the eight. That'll in turn bring the one ball up, and he will be on the seven. Oh yeah, that would that would definitely be the way to go, I believe. The only problem you've got there is does the eight ball stick next to the fifteen? This isn't as easy as it looks. Oh, Tyler. That's too straight. That is way too straight. Going down to the last second of the shot clock there. Really took a few seconds to, to figure out what he wanted to do, but he's got a lot of work behind him. He's going to draw back here firm. Oh, what a shot that is. And it came out what very well. What an unbelievable shot he's played there. That was a brilliant shot. And I tell you what, he has been very fortunate to get an easy shot. But he deserves it because it was such a great shot that he played. And yeah, just got to make sure that if he runs into this 13, he needs to do it on purpose, with a purpose. There you go. Doesn't want to be straight. I think he's just okay. I think he's just got enough angle. Well. May try and cheat the pocket a little bit. Yeah, just play it into the left-hand side of the pocket as we look. Stun the cue ball over. That's a great shot. And yeah, Tyler here. Realizing that he's playing somebody that does know how to play fairly well, he's not going to make very many mistakes. Yeah, that's a great run out there from Tyler. Takes a 2-1 lead in this race to seven match, and it's been a perfect set so far. Especially in Louisiana where we're at, it is very humid, and these tables do play with a lot of humidity in them. So it's uh, it's that you'll never play anywhere else like this except for maybe in Florida where that heat and that moisture kind of mix together so it's it's definitely one of a kind playing here yeah I, I remember a few years ago well I say a few years ago about seven years ago I played in uh, a place called Barnsley in England where we played the snooker qualifiers and we actually played in a, a leisure center and there was a swimming pool just next to the arena Really? And I have never seen so many balls skid in my life <laughs> as what, what was there. It was All just, that moisture. Oh, it was awful, awful. You know, and I'm, I'm not sure if they still play there now, but, you know, it, it wasn't easy, that's for sure. Well, that's uh, that's definitely an interesting take. I've played in a lot of places. I've never played next to a swimming pool. But, uh, yeah, Chris hit it on the head that the arena here is beautiful. The convention center is wonderful. Um, there's so much space in between tables. You're not jam-packed in to where you're bumping into people. They've, the team has really done a great job with the setup here. And Tyler yep. here, he's got an interesting shot here. Yeah, he wants to cannon the six and leave it half ball. Too much. Too well, much. He's okay, though. He can, he can potentially pot the nine, run through, play... 
I think it's the 11 ball and go into the 7 with screw. I mean, for me, I wouldn't play that shot. I'd play the 9, then the 11, come off the bottom cushion and flick the 7 away, therefore developing the 10 ball. Well, he's going to play off the 11 and make the 10. Well, gonna that's going to be a good shot. Yeah, it, it's not a tough shot, this. It's all about controlling the 11 ball, because you'd like to think he's going to make the 10, but does he? Look? Well, he's playing it with screws, so he's trying to screw the cue ball out. Needs a little bit of luck here. Yeah, and that's why he missed it, because he was screwing it. If he played that playing ball, he couldn't miss that. And look at this. Probably the one spot he didn't want to leave Jacob is a shot on the one ball with an easy play into the seven to get it moved away from the tin ball. Yeah, I don't actually think he can get into the seven from there. You think it's too much? Yeah, I think it's just a little bit too much. It'd be wise to pot the one, go up the table towards the eight ball, play the two and go into the seven. Yeah, I didn't think he could get there. So maybe a, a little bit of... Uh excitedness there he saw an opportunity just like I did and uh, he went for it and uh, maybe that wasn't the shot to play at that point so but he's a good player and he adapts well so we'll see what happens here yeah I like I like the way it hits the ball he hits it with authority sign of confidence but the more balls he pops up the top of the table the tougher this is going to become this is a correct shot Play the four ball, get the cue ball past the eight. Got to be careful that you don't want to scratch in the in the side pocket. He can play the three, but I prefer to leave that three ball there, personally. Yeah, and shot clock. He just called his extension. Yeah, and he's only a small fella, so he can't really reach the, the four. He'll tell you that is the hardest part of his game when he did win the u.s amateur championship he usually plays with a, a small extension on his cue but uh it's tough for him to lean over he's only around five three five four has no problem moving the cue ball oh, though he's put the cue ball oh no that was a danger that was a, a big danger what he did there and he had the opportunity to make a good run out but he tried to bring the seven out first shot which I didn't think he could play and that's probably going to cost him this rack if he'd have played for the two ball he's never going to miss a two ball and just develop the seven and the ten in the same shot Ooh, well that only just snuck in they used all of the pocket on that one yeah and uh I think Tyler should pop the ball in the middle and just draw back to roughly where the eight ball is. He could play the uh, the 11 now and go up, up the table and play, maybe play the, is it the 12 ball into the same pocket if need be. 12 ball goes in five of the pockets, so uh, he does have a lot of options. Doesn't want to be spinning this round the world. I think this is the right shot. Just bring the cue ball roughly back to where it is now. Or even passed, and it's still perfect. Yeah, and that's where you see the experience of Tyler coming in. And uh, Tyler's played on the bigger stages before, and I think he's feeling a little bit more comfortable than maybe Jacob is. Yeah, just a nice soft draw shot on this. Screw the cue ball back about four or five inches. Oh, wow. It's perfect. I cannot believe that's gone in. Yeah. Uh, He's hit the near jaw at pace there. Again, used all the pocket, but in the end, the ball falls. It is another frame for Tyler Starr. See, frame. Y'all have me talking uh, English terms. Uh, three to one here, Tyler Steyer over local favorite Jacob Watson. And that, that ball hit five rails on the way into the pocket. Once again, makes a ball. Wow. Miss them if you can. They are absolute... 
what we call in England Mary Ploppins. Mary Ploppins. Which, which means you cannot miss them. So this is what I would call a tic-tac-toe out. Yeah, and I'll tell you something. The first shot he should be playing is potting the one ball and just nudges the nine away for the seven to go in that corner. Just like that. Very good shot. Well, this... Well, that got a little funny. Not so much Mary Ploppins and definitely not tic-tac-toe anymore. Yeah, I, I'm surprised he screwed the ball, though. I thought he'd just play playing ball, just slide the cue ball up the table slowly. I mean, the nines come out maybe, what, 12 inches? Yeah, probably more than that. Almost halfway the distance across the table. You still feel he's going to make this, though. And he does. Has he got a good cannon? It's OK. He's slightly bridging over the 14 ball. But if you see here, he keeps getting just a little out, just a little out, just a little out. He's got to get back in because that four ball really only has one good pocket to go in. He doesn't need to be out of line getting into it. Yeah, and if he makes this, he'll be in perfect position. And he has. And doesn't have a great deal to do now. So many options, what to do. For me, you pop the seven in the side, run through, pop the three, then the four, or the five, should I say. Wow, the, I'm, I'm really surprised he's going this way. I think... So he's wanting to get rid of the four ball early. I do understand why he's going that way, but it's far easier to get on the eight from the, from the four ball. Yeah, I mean, the closer your out ball is to the eight ball, the easier it is to get the shape on it. So you don't really want to be going multiple rails to get on the eight ball because funny things happen. So I guess it's going to work for him here. I mean, he has a plan. Wow. Yeah, and that's a little bit short. I mean, he's still probably going to get out. And I tell you what, it's very interesting how different players see different patterns. Obviously, if you went this way, let's say on a Chinese eight ball table, well, you're a million to be clearing up. Because yeah. you, you have to be absolutely pinpoint perfect on them tables. I would need to be the magician to get out there. Those tables are tough. Yeah, they're the toughest tables I've ever played in my life. Just, um, just landed a little bit funky on this one. Can he just push through? I think he can. I think he's going to be just fine. He's in a situation where maybe he just rolls it as soft as he can, but he actually got perfect. Yeah, nice shot there from Tyler. And another good clearance. Looked like he'd run out of position, but played a couple of really good shots to get himself back in and takes a frame and a 4-1 lead. And there's definitely some energy out there. Here we go, sideball break. Good break. Very good break. He's got a chance here. He's got a big chance. He has. You, you would think at first glance... He has to go for the solids. He doesn't have to, though. He really doesn't have to. He doesn't he? have to, but the, the, I mean, there's so, the so much more easier than the stripes. If the timball was just out slightly, I think I'd try to go stripes, but you're, you're absolutely right. The solids are the way to go. His real only tough play here is the eight ball. Well, the shot he should be playing is to pot this and cannon the nine. That, in turn, makes the position from the 6 to the 8 so much better. Does he play it? Let's have a look. No, that's not the shot, Jacob. That is never oh. the shot. And he's going to not be too proud of that one. Yeah. He knows it. And he's developed the two stripes as well. And if he plays to pot that ball with a touch of right and spin off the rail, even if he misses the 9, it's not the end of the world. But now he's blocked the 8 ball into the side pocket also. And I do believe it only goes in the top left-hand corner or the right-hand centre pocket. Yeah, and Jacob is a is very, very good at getting out of situations, but he might be buried too deep on this one. Yeah, he needs to make a ball, otherwise this rack's over. Yeah, Ty Tyler's not going to miss from here. And he won't be happy with that one, but... Tyler Steyer at the table, looking to make it 5-1. Yeah, just that, just that one little shot that's cost him the rack here. 
or should cost him the rack. Yeah, we've seen some funny things happen. I, I'm with you. I don't think Tyler's missing, but... Yeah, he's, he's definitely not missing here. I mean, he could pop this... this is it the 14 into the corner, go cushion first, or rail first, and just flick the 12 out? Yeah, the only real issue here is the 12 and 11, and it's not an issue because of the angle that he's got here. Perfectly yeah. played. Can't really beat that one. And uh, whatever ball he feels comfortable shooting, he'll he'll always have another shot because everything's right there close together. Yeah, I'd actually put the one in the middle here. I like the 13 in the side as well. Yeah, I just think it gives you so many more options. I mean, he's never going to miss from here, let's be honest. Well, he's overran that a little. I think he did play for the, the 13 in the side. Is he on it? He can yeah. still play the. He can still play the 12 in the top corner pocket. Sun out for the nine ball, in the corner pocket where he's shooting from now. That's perfect. Three stun shots here. And Tyler will be taking a five-one lead. Yeah, an unfortunate uh, situation there with with Jake. Just. Uh, didn't quite get what he wanted on that, and it really, really hurt him. Just kind of shake it off and do what you can to come back. The match isn't over yet, but it's definitely going to be a tough one. Tyler Steyer, as he goes up 5-1, to one, he's he will go back and watch, and he will see what he can improve on, and I'm sure as soon as you say it, he'll he'll be like, oh, man, why didn't I do that? Well, he lost the cue ball there. And look at them. Made a lot of balls. I mean, how does this boy ever lose? <laughs> look at that <laughs> break. I mean, you, you physically would struggle to miss these if you was blind. I mean, this is unbelievable how, how, how easy these are. I'm never playing pull in front of you. <laughs> Honestly, I, these are absolute, like, it's a road map. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty much laid out for him. It doesn't matter how he wants to take it. The balls are really opened up. Yeah, as long as he lands on the 15 roughly straight into the side pocket, he has absolutely nothing to do. For me, you put, you put the 13, leave the cue ball on the top rail. That, in turn, gives you natural position to get onto the 15 ball. And he just chose to go back a little, but he's trying to get the same effect. He's just going to play it with a little bit of outside. Maybe just try and stun it to get straight on the 15. You're right, but it's so much easier to let the cue ball do the work rather than play the shot, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I mean, he's landed a little bit short. He's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. He can pot this and avoid the cannon on the five ball. Yeah, I always tell my players that I play with that if you can let the rail do the work for you, then you really don't have to work very hard. Going to touch the eight ball there. Not going to matter here. Yeah, it's a nice little shot he's played there. Well controlled. Could have gone wrong, but he played the cannon absolutely perfect. And now he just needs to pot this, let the cue ball run down the table slightly to leave a perfect angle to stun up for the eight ball into the pocket where he's shooting from now. The way you're talking us through this, you'd think you play this game or something. I played it a little bit. <laughs> but no, he didn't, he didn't get good shot. there. Yeah, that's a poor shot there from Tyler. He'll be he'll be annoyed with himself there, but... Luckily, with the five ball there, no real risk of a scratch or anything crazy happening. A good shot there by Tyler. Not the best layup on the eight ball, but again, very manageable <laughs> for Tyler Steyer. Really one of the most humble kids I've ever met. Another good break there, and the cut break just isn't working for him at the moment. I mean, they've come out a little bit awkward. At first glance, you would look and think that the stripes are the better of the two sets, but they're not easy at all. 
Yeah, I don't, what's your opening play here? If you wanted to take the stripes, I think if, if solids are there, you're taking the seven ball. But yeah, I, th I think I think you have to go for spots here, solids, and just play this one, play the one after this, and then cannon the two out. Yeah, you, you could never get the two out playing that shot. It, it was virtually impossible to get the two ball out playing that shot. And I think maybe he was wanting that key ball to grab sooner. And I think maybe the the cloth conditions are throwing his, his drag off a little bit because he usually does play that ball just to cinch the cue ball quickly. He usually does play that well. I think the cloth is just a little different than what he's used to. Nice and that's shot. A shot. Two that's ball a nice didn't, shot. didn't really react the way he wanted to, but he's got an opportunity to move it once again. Yeah, this will be interesting how he plays this shot. And, you know, he's still got the four ball that he has to contend with as well. I don't know if it can be played off the 12 ball. He's got to play this slow with the touch of right. Just flick the two ball up nice and easy. Well, he's played a brilliant shot there. That could have gone wrong. And he's played an excellent shot there. And it's very important now that when he pots a two, he leaves a cue ball near the top cushion or near the top rail. So then he can pot the three and either run into the four, uh, the, the four ball or the eight ball. So you're in, the, you're in the belief that the four ball cannot be played off the 12 ball? I think it can, but I think for me personally, I'm just, I'm moving the eight ball here. Um, may, maybe that's the easier scenario there. And he's got a good angle to do so here, right? Yeah, and it's again, it's a natural angle, so he can play this with just a touch of left, rail first, and flick the eight ball out nice and easy. Perfectly played. Great shot, and a nice little flick as well there. Can he play it off the 12? Well, that is the question, and that's... The answer to that question is going to determine whether or not this is 6-2 to two or if Tyler Steyer comes to the table on the hill. Got to play it with a bit of pace. Stun the ball hard with a bit of pace. And he's very unlucky if he's not on this one. Lovely, lovely shot there from Jacob. Well controlled. This will give him some good confidence. Well, and under the gun, Jacob Watson coming with a very, very nice run out. Just has to pot this eight ball. And there it is, Jake Watson, two to six. Still a very long road for Mr. Watson. Let's see how he breaks these. Probably breaking perfect. Well, and for Tyler here, it's make a ball get out. And for Jacob Watson, it's let's hope they're all tied up. Mm, that's a good mm. break. <laughs> wow. This is definitely not what Jake wanted to see. Wow. That is an unbelievable break. That is better than the last one. Yeah. Six, two, five, three, four, one, eight. Six, two, five, three, four, one, eight. I like it. Let's see how it plays out. Yeah, it just needs to leave the cue ball just basically in line with where the 10 is. Off the top cushion, touch of left hand spin. Just get the cue ball in centre of the table. Well, a touch short, is it? No, he's okay, he's perfect. Now, it's up to Tyler how he plays this one. Personally, I play for the three. He could play for the one, the four, then the three. But for me, you play for the three ball. And so far, your call has been correct. Yeah, I'd definitely be playing for the four after this. Reason being, it's slightly more difficult to get from the four to the eight than it is from the one to the eight. Yep, and that is the perfect route. Six, two, five, three, four, one, eight is the call. And I believe that's going to be the end of this match. Once again... Another good showing for Jacob Watson here, local favorite. But the baby-faced assassin, Tyler Steyer, really playing absolutely jam up in this match.
incredible. And guys, Simon's going to get a word with Tyler Steyer here shortly, but we're going to go to commercial. Thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate it. We'll be back shortly.